Ecologies is an interesting game about creating an ecosystem. I don't know if it's a good game, but it's an interesting game. Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out. Ecologies. This is from Montrose Biology. It's for one to six players. Take you 60 to 90 minutes to play. And it's for ages 12 plus. But there is a simplified version for ages 8 plus. And in Ecology, this is this month's Game Crafter Spotlight series. Where I spotlight a different Game Crafter game every single month. They pay me to do it. And I do a gameplay video. I do a setup video. An unboxing video. And then a review at the end of the month. So if you want to see any of those other videos, be sure to click up in that link down up there. And if you want to check out this game or check out the Game Crafter, check out the link down below. They're fantastic for prototypes. But Ecologies is a really simple game with tons and tons and tons of cards. There's like 100 cards. comes in the tuck box. And all the cards are going to be shuffled up and dealt out. And in this deck are going to be cards that you're going to use to create your ecosystem. So you have to start off with what are called biome cards. And you're going to get seven cards at the beginning of the game. And the general flow of the game is that you're going to uh, get some cards. And then you're going to play some cards. And you can trade cards. But you're trying to create the biome and so you create the biome first and now what this means is you can start playing animals and different amoebas and things like that that have this color that are part of this biome so let me give you an example right here you could not play this papaya in this biome because this color does not match however you could play the black bear the black bear has the matching color and the black bear is also nice as well because he could be used uh, either in the green biome or the light green biome and i will say the color coding in this game i think is really helpful in useful but what you're trying to do is place things out on your turn because when you place things out they will typically get you points like putting out this squirrel will get you 0.75 points you're trying to get to 12 points you're playing the simplified version of the game you just get one point per card you put out but the other quirk in this game is that you can get bonuses from the biome. So let's go take back a look at that coniferous forest biome right here. And if we are able to get the health ecology bonus, which is on the bottom of this, we're going to get plus four victory points. That's a huge swing, by the way, in a 12-point uh, wins you the game type of game. But what you have to do is you have to first have AP. And every time you set up a biome, you're going to have to have a producer, something that's going to uh, you know produce things for other people. To eat. So right now, there's eelgrass. However, that would not work in our biome. And then you're trying to get uh, carnivores or whatever it is, C1, C2, C3, and then a uh, an SP, which I don't even remember what that stands for. But all the different cards right here, they're super functional. And let's get into the review. If you actually want to see a whole gameplay, I did a gameplay video of this. So let's get into my thoughts on this. Moving on to the pros and the cons. So first on the, uh, the cons side, we're going to start on the cons. This is not a game that I think I'm the biggest I, I have no desire to play it again. There's the thing. I think it's an interesting game. I think it's cool. I think I learned a thing or two about, you know, what might be in the ecosystem and what would eat each other. And I think the kids would get a really big kick out of this game. And I think that's the best thing that I can say about this game is that you have younger kids who are really into animals and the environment. I think this is a game that can work very, very well. And why I'm going to rank this, you know, a little bit higher. I think this is probably about a 6.7, 6.8 for me. I don't think it's a great game, but I think in the right situations it could be a good game for some people and part of the reason uh, but this is the, we're talking about the cons right now so the rule booklet i feel like the rule booklet could be a little bit better i feel like a player reference card would help uh, a good deal as well that being said the game itself is very easy to learn and easy to teach for the most part uh, it is a little bit of a fragile game. If you have a group that's not going to want to trade or they're not the biggest on trading, and then this is then it's just it's just kind of you just hoping you get the right cards. And that's that's not the most fun. So you need to make sure you're trying to wheel and deal, which can't always be possible, especially if you're you don't have any cards in your hand. And I gotta say the solo experience versus the experience with uh, multiple people is is a pretty different experience. But the solo game was it was, it was okay. Um and that's, that's, I feel like that's the biggest con. Like, I played this three times, and every time I was like, yeah, it's okay. But there's, there was no reason for me to really want to come back to it. Uh, there's only such a, there's a low amount of cards in this game that really do much of anything. Because there are some cards mixed in here that'll do some negative crazy things, or they'll bump up some stuff. Or they, they're cool. But there's only ten. There's not much going on in this. So you need to know that <clears throat> it's a very... I'd say it's a much lighter game. I don't think most people this is going to be a game night style game. It has a lane. <clears throat> Moving on to the pros. 
there is a lot that I do like about this game. So first and foremost, I feel like they crushed the graphic design. Uh, I feel like it's very simple to see which thing goes in which habitat and the point system is clean and clear. You literally just add up the numbers. I like that as well. I wish they would have given me a little bit more detail uh, about some of the specific actions and functions of the cards, which goes back to the rule booklet, which I think could be better. Because there's there's like, there's like a couple of them that are like, ah, I'm not quite sure exactly what this means. But hey, I think it means this. And that's what I got. I, I like the artwork. I like the graphic design. I like the idea of the game. I think it's an interesting game. But ultimately, at the end of the day, as just this, this is a hard one for me to recommend unless your kid's really like animals and they like learning about the biomes and the ecosystem in which case i think they're going to get uh absolutely get your money's worth out of this game and i know they're planning on doing expansions in the future this definitely feels like that kind of game where the more stuff that got added to the game i think i would much more enjoy that game with more special abilities more this more that more biomes more animals more creatures more whatever and literally there's an unlimited amount of things that you could tap into with this which is really cool an unlimited theme but right now, it's 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 a, I think it's a take it or leave it style game for most people. And for me personally, I am going to leave this one. I think this one is not going to be having a place in my collection, despite the fact it does have a small box. But there you go. That is Ecologies. It looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out down in the GameCrafter link down below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you because I do. I love GameCrafter. Not just because they sponsor my channel, but because they're fantastic for prototyping. I used them long before they sponsored the channel. And I will always take the opportunity to sing their praises. But let me know in the comments below if you could live in one biome where would you like to live for me personally i would love to live up on a mountain i think that'd be really cool but let me know in the comments below where you'd want to live as always thanks for your time youtube bye bye